Looking for the key to the graveyard gate, are you? Well, it's your lucky day. The angel took it, stole from some public security jerks. She gave it to Margie, so I'm guessing he's selling it for medals now. Hey, you don't happen to have a key to a graveyard, do you? Of course! The Emporium has everything, Kubo. and Google medals now. Soon I'll be able to make everyone here super happy. That's wonderful. So, like Mog the Moogle, you'll be able to make all our hopes and dreams come true? Not just yours, Koopa. The wishes of every single person in the slums. It's a lot of wishes. Lots of people in Midgard love to collect Moogle medals, you know. They'll pay anything to get their hands on more. I'm using the money to set up more shops all throughout the slums, Koopa. I'm giving jobs to the other kids and making life better for everyone here. And that's how I'll make everyone happy. That's one way of doing it, Koopo. And I've got extra happiness for you two. So what's to stop us from selling directly to these collectors? Uh, Moogle Magic, Koopo? Next time, keep your plans to yourself. Thanks, you guys. By working together, I know we can make the world a happier place. Going in. 
Sorry, but we're in a rush. <laughs> Let's do this. Go on! No holding back. I'm really grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. I owe him a lot. Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot, too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife. And we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying. And then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. <sighs> it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. I 
I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Oh, hey. That's what's called easy money. Will really he bite me? Wait a sec. So, you coming? Talking to the Shh. So yeah, it was that kind of day. <sighs> Let's go. Shouldn't keep mom waiting. Hey. What'd they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Hmm. Probably not. Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they... Need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But, before they can... There's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> okay, time to go. Learn to talk to her. Did the flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? <laughs> That's the spirit! You're heading in already? Nah, not quite yet. You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh... I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. 
Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <sighs> Don't want to overstay my welcome. What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? Don't worry, you'll feel much better in the morning. And I promise to take you straight home. Uh, okay. <sighs> Please don't let her hear me again. Jerk. I thought I told you not to leave your room. Now get back in there. Okay. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you.
Who knew talking to the kids about the past would make them feel? I tried that new chocobo fabric talking to Will you look at that? It's a normal thing. Oh. Well, look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. <laughs> Nothing. You can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time. And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. Now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. Like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. <laughs> Gotcha! 
is that? A big arm. Kind of cute, don't you think? Uh... Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. <sighs> I wonder if we can use this. Idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. it off because of all the monsters that kept showing up pretty dangerous place for kids to play raised in the slums remember you're tough hmm that's supposed to be a compliment Yeah. 
You're done. Looks like a dead end. I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Is a crane operator or something? Yeah? Huh? Uh, huh. <sighs> oh no, look! Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. a second. Gotcha.
Okay, right there. Hold on while I drop the ladder. Jumping's not an option, that's for sure. Hmm. Look. Hmm? Someone made a campfire. They found a way down. So can we. You're dead. Too fast, okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Hmm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. <laughs> Cap a minute, composite. I don't get him. Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's what you get when you. Oh, 
when somebody else... We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. Uh. Okay, what do you want? Nothing but our two recompense, that's all. <laughs> two recompense, two recompense. Two, two recompense? Uh. No, shit for brains, two recompense. It's like, uh, uh. it's like, uh, uh. Compensatory damages! I think we've heard enough. Soldier. That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Huh? What we got here? Press me to take out the soil. That's what. Stay back! You see what it does?
Gotcha. Pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> uh. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just? Nope. 
don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. I'm sorry, okay? Hold it right there, lovebird! <laughs> you wanna pass through our territory? <laughs> then you gotta pay the toll! <laughs> The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for- Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! Time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? <sighs> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <clears throat> Gotta look forward, not back. Take long. <sighs> Ready. <sighs> Want to get to Sector Seven in style? This is the passageway for you. said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies. And it's safer, too.
Guess this is it then. Ready? Yeah. going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh, no, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Okay. Come on, Cloud. We gotta hurry. 